Being able to share your iPhone's mobile data connection to your other devices has long been introduced back in 2008, starting with the iPhone 3G along with iOS 4. It's definitely not a new feature, but it consistently fails to work on my iPhone throughout the years and even the latest iOS 15 seem to have this issue. Whenever I try to share it with my MacBook or with any other devices, Today I want to show you how to fix this problem with two simple methods. My iPhone 10 isn't new compared to the latest and greatest, however I am running the latest version of iOS 15.2. The first method you can try is by switching allow others to join off. Turn off Wi-Fi from the menu itself, it has to be completely off and although I don't think it affects it much, turn off Bluetooth from the settings menu. Now switch on personal hotspot again or allow others to join. A menu will ask you to enable Wi-Fi again, select it. Most of the times, I find when I select the hotspot on my MacBook or other devices, it will connect without issue once I run through this ritual. Method number two. Sometimes the iOS, the iPhone, or for whatever reason, really, really doesn't want me to use the mobile data and just would not connect no matter what I try. Even if I restart the phone or restart my other devices or the MacBook, this issue happens quite often with my MacBook for some reason. Maybe it's time to upgrade. In this case, when it doesn't connect, when I select my hotspot from the Wi-Fi drop-down menu, it's slightly more tedious, but try this. Go to the Join Other Network menu, or equivalent depending on your device. Type in your network name. Go to General, About, to see or change your phone's name. That's the network name. Select Security as WPA, WPA2, Personal, and enter your hotspot password. Selecting remember this network makes no difference in my case. I have to go through this whole process typing in the network name and password again in the future when it doesn't connect again. So yeah, this tick box doesn't seem to make a huge difference. If method one doesn't work, I find going through this second method usually resolves the problem on my MacBook. By the way, it's important to note that I would always try method one first, followed by two, as I have noticed using method two alone doesn't always work either. That's it, I hope this little trick will help to solve your personal hotspot issue on your iPhone that's been driving me up the walls over the years. There has been times in the past where I would give up and not be able to use the internet at all, but I have noticed these two methods combined together or one or the other seem to work 99.9% .9 of the time in resolving this issue, and I hope this will help you too. If it did, please consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel. My name is Joe and as always a huge thank you for watching my videos. Here are some other videos for you to check out. I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Take care and stay safe.